In the previous lessons of this stage, we learned how to create methods, how to, to how works the returns in methods in Ruby, and how to create class and instance methods. Now, in this lesson, we'll learn how to control the visibility of the methods and now and how uh, that lets you control when and where methods can be called from. So now let's say there is a reset method that sets the balance of ba bank account to zero. Let's let's see what happens when we call it. Reload, reload the file. Okay, now let's create a new back account instance. Okay, we have a new back account instance, and now let's call the recent method. Oh, but before. Let's make a deposit. So let's see, deposit is 100, okay. Now our bank account has 100 balance, and let's call the reason method. Great, it's working, as you can see here. Well, this method can become kind of dangerous. We don't want any other programs or any other classes to call this method for the bank back account instance. So let's make it private. Private. We do it. We do this by typing the word, the keyword, private, and everything below this keyword will be pri private methods. Now, if we try again to call, let's. Let's reload again the file, right? And now, if we try to call again, okay, let's make a deposit again. And let's call it reset. Let's see what happens. Reset. Okay, so it says number error, private method, reset, called from, okay. So this is a private method, we can't call it like this. So this, make this method. Uh, more secure in case we want to to call it for another instance private methods can only be called within the class now if we really want to call this reset method we need to create a public method for it so let's create public methods are uh, well all the methods in the class are public by default so you just don't need to to specify it's public just type it or define it outside of the private keyword or above of it okay so that let's say okay this method all that's gonna do is call the reset method and how we are calling it inside of the class then we can call private methods so let's see what happens when we try to call it again so let's reload. Let's create a new bank account instance. Uh, okay, let's deposit 100. Uh, okay, now let's call bank account dot uh, call the reset method. Call the reset method. Ah, uh, voila, it worked. So if we take a look to our bank account again, its, it's balance is to zero. Well, we have public and private methods, but we also have protected ones. So let's take a look how they work. We define protected methods with the keyword protected. And below this keyword, we can create any protected method we need. The difference between protected and private methods is that protected methods can be called within the class and by other objects of the same class but private can be only called in within the class now let's create a protected reason method oh no okay 
uh, balance plus to zero. So let's see how this works. So let's create a new public method called def uh, reset order account. Run that account, reset the balance. And we'll receive other account. Other account and okay. Now we will call first uh, other account dot protected reset. So let's here let's go make this bigger. Let's create two accounts. Oh well, we need first to to reload for the file for get changes. Okay, load it. Create account one to be Okay, account two will be Okay, right, we have account one and account two. Now let's try reset the balance of account two from account one. Let's do this. So the method is called reset order balance. And we will send the account two. Okay, it worked great. So with the protected as you can see we can reset as it's uh, An instance we are calling uh, the protected can be executed or performed uh, from within the class and Any instance of the class can can execute the method, but some, Something different happens with with private methods. Now let's call these two reset that is our original reset method. So we can see here. Okay, that method is private. So let's see what happened when we try to create. I mean, when we try to to load uh, to reset account balance of account two from account one. Okay, we get an error. So why it's Showing an error if we are executing executing it uh, within the class. Well, if you look closely, we are not executing the reset method inside of the class or within the class. We are calling it from the other account instance instead of the within the class. So that's why we get an error. So we can't with the private we can't uh, reset the balance of one account from another account. So this is. This is the difference between private and protected methods. This is the final lesson of this stage. I hope you enjoy it. You enjoy it. Um, we have a short quiz for you for let you practice the concepts learned in this stage. And the next stage, we are going to call about loops. Loops in Ruby. As always, don't forget to follow me as Bastian Boland in Twitter. Follow us as Race Karate 2 on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook too. Always keep an eye on racekarate.com where you will find the transcript of this video. And of course, thanks for subscribing to our channel. We are growing up. See you next.